Hello and welcome. In this video we'll be looking at the program, free program, Calculate. You can see it's spelled a bit differently here. It's available from this website for free download. I'll minimise this and I've actually opened up uh, Calculate. I've got the portable version and I'll just show you a few of the things it can do. But all we can do is really scratch the surface. It's the tip of the iceberg what I'll be showing you here. You can use it as a normal calculator, pressing enter to calculate things. You see the question area and the answer area. You can type trig expressions. You can see I'm on degrees there. That can be changed to radians by clicking there. If I press enter, there I get in a fractional form because I've got these buttons highlighted. You can even do fractions and it'll cancel down the fraction for you. And things like factor something in its prime factor form or even factorize algebraic expressions like that. There are a whole lot of things under the menu here, I'll just wipe this out, and the functions, uh, say number theory, you know, Fibonacci numbers, and that little wizard so you don't have to remember the, the um, code for the function, you can just put, fill in these numbers here for example, if you want the 10th Fibonacci number, and then press Calculate, and there it is. Again, under, if I wipe that out, under Functions, Number Theory, things like Lowest Common Multiple, and you don't have to type out the function, you just put the two numbers in boxes here, and Calculate, and there's the Lowest Common Multiple. Uh, have a look at a few other options. Under functions to statistics, oh, one sums it gets a bit stuck. Click on statistics, and you can do correlation, say Pearson's correlation coefficient. And if you want to put in some data, <coughs> the two lists, let's put in one, comma two, comma three, and two, comma. 5, 6, so that's a pretty high correlation, calculate, now there's the exact form, if I wanted it not exact, I could get a decimal like that, so that's a very powerful program. Another function that could be handy is under algebra and solve equation, you can type in an equation and in an X here, but I don't think you have to always. Just calculate and X equals 2. There's the solution, which is correct there. You can even, under functions, algebra, you can solve for two variables or multiple variables. If it's two variables, just type in your equations. I'll just put in a couple of simple simultaneous equations. And the variables are already in here, calculate, and the first one it solves for is 6, is uh, that is 6 is the x, I think. Um, <clears throat> if you wanted to solve for y, I'm not sure what you would do. Which you could do, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Under functions, algebra, solve for multiple variables, and you put in a vector of equations, that's square brackets, so x plus y equals 10 is one of the equations, x minus y equals 2 is the other equation. So that's the set of equations for the variables, and again square brackets are x and y, which we separate commons, commas, and yeah, there's the solution, 6, 4. Okay, also some powerful calculus functions, for example under functions, well you can actually put in your function first if you wanted to, in x cubed plus 4x, and if we go to functions, calculus, differentiate, it's already put in our argument there, calculate, and there's the derivative of that expression. You can see you could have typed in diff if you knew the command, but you can also get it from the menu here. Out, put in x cubed only, under functions, calculus, and integrate. 
everything's filled in, calculate, and there's the integral. You can uh, do some quite uh, powerful calculations here. You know, x star sine x, and we could uh, calculus differentiate that. And that's because we've got this 180 because we're working in degrees. But if I change it back to radians, that would be the answer, which is uh, probably what you would expect more typically. Okay, hey, what else? Look, there's a whole lot of stuff under functions, um, economics, you can work out the you know, payment for a loan. I'll put that in there. But uh, the interest rate was um, 5%. But divided by 12 if you've got monthly payments, say 30 years would be 360 months. It was a hundred thousand dollar loan, and you want to pay it off to get to zero, you can calculate, and it'd be 536 dollars and 82 cents a month. So, there's quite a number of powerful equations, uh, functions in here. It even has a um, well, some surprising things you could do, for example. So, some quite surprisingly powerful algebraic uh, capabilities here. You can even plot functions under file, Oops, file, plot functions, and if I go x to uh, sine x, and you've got a function range here, I'll leave that as is, and add that function, and here we have a, an interesting plot, which I'll close. Here. So yeah, we've only just scratched the surface, as I said earlier. Got to play around with it, but it's uh, certainly a better calculator than the stock Windows calculator, and I recommend this very highly. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.